Whoa. Uh, what's happening here? We've been locked up for two months now. We elected a new mayor, Mr. Spencer. He came in under the pretext of new jobs and growth for our town. We, we loved his vision, and we voted him, hands down, unanimously. But he's turned this town into a forced labor work camp, and even locks us up here at night. He says, if we go home, we'll waste energy that we should be spending on work, doing silly personal activities. Well, but we need to be quiet, because he thinks even talking is unnecessary and wasteful. Oh, uh, what time is it? 4 a.m.? What is wrong with this guy? Shh. Let's blend in. Something tells me we don't want to upset this guy. He has a few screws loose. Whatever, I'm so sick of this. Let's just do whatever it takes to get out of this one, and quickly. I see three people who don't have designated work zones. Hmm, I think I shall have you three observe the day with me so you can find the place you will work most efficiently. Do you see my beautiful town? I have turned this place into an excellent production point for the world. Today this town, tomorrow the world. Hello, Mr. Spencer. I see you've a very controlling form of running this town. May I ask how it's been working out so far? I said, don't you see, boy? I have an eye on everyone at all times. I control when they wake up, when they eat, where and when they sleep. How could this not be effective? Well, did you ever think that this might be too much control and you're making people hate their jobs? Yeah, I know. I mean, when someone makes me do something I hate, like clean my room, I always take my time and do the bare minimum because I'm being forced to. Are you telling me I have workers who are slacking? I'll just have to raise my quotas. Less than sleeping hours. Whoa, great idea. Let's just make people hate what they do, hate it even more. She's right. I don't think that will work. Why don't you let them choose what job they should do instead of assigning them and let them live in their own homes? Don't you think this is a little wrong and lacking human rights? <laughs> That's just foolish. Man, just give it a shot, and if we're all wrong, we will stay and be one of your slaves, too. Oh, and uh, boy, that's a deal. I could use more help around here anyway. <laughs> Hello. Anyone working, you are free to leave. This is not a joke. I have convinced Mr. Spencer to try a new management technique of tactical control that allows him to regulate your day-to-day -day work functions only and not let it bleed into your personal lives. Oh my god, I can't believe you convinced him to do that. Thank you so much. Now if only we, he could work on these uniforms next. <laughs> wow, thank you guys so much. I haven't felt this well rested in months. I'm actually looking forward to going to work, Mr. Spencer. Well, <laughs> it looks like my thinking got the best of me. You three were right. We have established new standards for my workers, and I have measured the performance, compared them to my previous results, and overall productivity has gone up in just one day. This uh, balancing control over the workers really is working. <laughs> Thank you all for showing me that too much control can actually have a bad effect on performance. I will never forget this lesson in my future management tactics. Yay.